Salvador Allende ayudó concretamente a la lucha armada de América Latina. Sentía admiración por Fidel, El Che, Miguel Enríquez. Compartía el coraje y la audacia con ellos, sus amigos. Pero los lazos de lealtad y de respeto no enturbiaron nunca sus convicciones. Para Salvador Allende, solo el camino democrático podía ir creando cada día el socialismo en Chile. What was your reaction when Allende was elected? When Allende was elected, I said that it was a grave and very serious defeat for the United States. Why? Why? Because he had said that the United States was the number one enemy in the hemisphere. He had said this over and over again. Number two, he was the most uh, slavish admirer of Castro. He had spent six months in China admiring the work of the Mao Zedong government. He, 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 he was very fond of Ho Chi Minh in, uh, in Vietnam. He was a fan of Che Guevara. So we knew that although Allende would act in what appeared to be a legal and constitutional manner, it would be designed to eliminate all U.S. influences. It would be designed as a class warfare to eliminate the middle class opposition, the bourgeois. It would be a class war approach. And it would eventually be fidelismo, fidelismo, sin fidel. Fidelismo without fidel. So Allende was a threat for the US. In judging the creation of a Santiago Havana axis in Latin America at a time where all the social conditions necessary for revolutions involving a great deal of uh, unrest and violence. It was not unusual for the United States to see this as a highly destabilizing influence and an extension of Soviet influence. 